baby. Hey, um, oh wow, my hair's out nasty. Anyway, okay, I haven't made one of these in a while. I've been really, 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 really busy, um, doing a bunch of nothing, actually, but, you know, just trying to get things done. I, um, been spending some more time with my mother. Um, we're leaving soon, so I think I might as well do that. And she's actually been trying to go out. Sorry, I'm turning. Oh, wow. That was really close up on my face. Ah, oh, look. You know, you can see how pale I am. I've been spending time with my mother. We've been going out, getting things, doing errands and stuff. And I, um, wow, I have been busy. I'm, like, filling it all in my head. Um, spending time with my mom. She's been getting things done. Uh, we've been preparing for the new, uh, granddaughter. Well, her granddaughter and my new niece. And, uh, that's been fun. It's been a lot of fun, actually. And so we've been doing that. And, um, preparing for our move, because our move is coming soon. Very, very, very soon. Sorry, I just finished lunch. And I went to the doctor because I'm concerned about some stuff. Uh, I have high blood pressure for some reason. It goes high and then it goes low. Um, but it could be because I'm under a lot of stress. Not stress where, like, I feel it, because I really don't notice the stress, but I guess it's stress nonetheless. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, so I went to the doctor, and we were discussing my weight, because I weighed 160. I'm 150. I mean, I mean I'm 5'5", five five, but I weighed 160. And I gained, like, 10 pounds, well, 7 pounds in 3 months. And that makes me happy. So we were testing me for an overactive thyroid, and, um... Diabetes since it runs my family and such, and um, we were looking for reasons why I was gaining weight, why I sweat so much. I sweat from my forehead, and I sweat a lot in my back, like, to the point where I'm taking extra shirts when I go out because my back is, like, sopping wet. It's disgusting. It's really nasty to look at because everyone, like, stares at my back, and they're like, ew. So, <clears throat> we tested, we, uh, I got that blood test Friday before we went to go visit my, uh, niece, my new niece, Liliana Marie. Um, so we went there, uh, Friday morning to get my blood drawn, and damn it, I just forgot, I forgot an errand. I have to go back and do my errand again. I'm not going out today, I'll go out tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I knew I was a new pulse for a reason. Anyway. Anyway, that wasn't a smooth transition or a smooth edit, but I don't care. Uh, so, I went in Friday, and I love the place where I get the village on because, like, when I walk in, there's no one there. So, I walk in, and Christian's like, oh, hey, this place is empty. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she, like, pricks it into my, my arm, and we're done. And then we're off to visit my uh, new niece at the hospital, and she's absolutely beautiful. I will show a picture of her. This is a picture of her lying down. Look how tight they have her wrapped up. She looks like a friggin' burrito. This is me holding her, and I'm actually liking this picture of me. And this is Christian holding her. <clears throat> that is what she looks like. And she's beautiful, and she's fun to hold. And that's it. With that, I uh, spent the rest of the weekend, Saturday, I did... I thought I did something Saturday, but I guess not. No, I know I did. Okay, I went out with a friend. We went um, <clears throat> to Olive Garden and such. And... Okay. <clears throat> we're at Olive Garden. It's like completely busy. Like completely busy. You know, we were there for like 30 minute wait. And uh, we go inside. And we sit down. And there's this table by us. This this woman comes in. And you know how Olive Garden's usually like on some sides they have like those plants to make it like Italian? Or, you know, what they think Italians look like. Anyway, not the people, the, the cities and stuff. Restaurants. Because if this, an Italian person looked like a plant, they'd be a plant person. That'd be kind of cool, because then they wouldn't have to eat food. They'd eat through osmosis. I wish I was a plant person, because I'd love to eat through osmosis. It would solve my problems. So, <clears throat> anyway, she, like, there's this, like, girl, little girl in front of her, and she pushes the plant, like, leaves, and it doesn't move, of course, because of the plant leaf. So she bends it and tucks it into the side of the, the um, <clears throat> container, which is really annoying. And then, like, I guess the little girl and her mother were sitting next to each other, because the woman who bent the leaves was not her mother. I don't even think they're related. 
and the little girl was trying to say something to the mother, and I guess the little girl rolled her eyes, and I heard the the bitch who, like, bent the plants, like, go, don't you ever roll your eyes at your mother. I'm a school teacher, and I didn't accept that in my school, in my classroom. I don't like you. Like, I literally wanted to get up, grab my fork, and jab it in her eye five times. Five. Not six, not four. Five. Six. Six. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> And then, and just like put it down and say, have a nice night while she's like screaming in agony. So, walk away. And then I come back home. And Christian's still playing the game. Christian's been re obsessed with his Oblivion game. <coughs> Sorry. So, he's trying to play that every time he can get. Um, um, and then Sunday, watch Big Brother, went out with a picnic with the family at the Masonic picnic, which I'm sure still the Masons, like, are involved with Satan or something, and they, like, like, sacrifice virgins on, like, the eve of the hollow moon or some crap like that. I don't know. <clears throat> so I go to sleep, and... Oh, that's another thing. My doctor's appointment, I got a um, subscription to Ambient CR, because I've been taking Lunesta. I suck at Lunesta. Lunesta stopped working for me. So I started taking Ambient, Ambient CR. I've taken Ambient before, cause, but I stopped because it gave me, like, amnesia. It's a side effect. So I thought Ambient CR would be, like, new and approved formula. No. <clears throat> Apparently, it still gives me amnesia, which is annoying. Because Christian, like, I called Christian Saturday morning um, when he called me from work and asked me if I remembered what I did that day. And I said, what do you mean? He's like, do you remember what happened last night? I was like, no. So apparently when he was in the bathroom, you know, brushing his teeth and anything, I was trying to turn off the television because I was watching Law & Order as usual. And apparently I was naked and humping the couch. Yeah, I know. I know. Not like, like, full-on sexual humping the couch. Like, I was, like, gyrating back and forth on top of it while trying to press the TV button. And Christian said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm trying to turn off the TV. And he said, why are you uh, humping the couch? And I said, I don't know. I'm just doing it. <laughs> so, again, the ambience giving me amnesia, and I'm going to be doing things I don't remember doing. <clears throat> Whatever. That's perfectly fine. Um, I'm about to take a drink. I'm sorry. I recommend this to everybody. Vitamin water. It's like the best water on earth. They come in many different flavors. This one's called Dragon Fruit, which I was really excited because... Oh, God. God, I'm such a fanboy. Anyway... Because watching an episode of Law and Order, they mentioned dragon fruit, and I had no idea if dragon fruit was really dragon fruit. I just thought they made up some fruit to be dragon fruit, and I was like, whatever, it tastes good. And all of a sudden, like, on criminal intent, they're like, yeah, dragon fruit, that's dragon fruit. And I'm like, oh! I was really excited, and then I had to go get one. But I really recommend these. These are really, really good. <coughs> Thank you, Chris, for putting me onto them. So Monday morning, <coughs> uh, my doctor calls, and he... <laughs> He says, well, I got your test results. I'm like, oh, okay. What are they? What are my test results? He tells me, oh, well, you'll be glad to know that um, everything's fine. And you actually have low cholesterol. Your blood sugar's fine. You don't have diabetes and overactive thyroid. I'm like, oh, okay. I got the phone. I call Christian back. And Christian says, you sound disappointed. Okay, <clears throat> here's the secret about some gay men that you have to get, I guess. Um, gay men can't be fat. Like, unless you're a bear, and that's okay, and that's what you're attracted to, that's perfectly fine. But a majority of gay men just cannot accept being fat. And if, it, if you're fat, with medical reason, it's acceptable, because you can't help that. It's a medical reason. You can just fix it out. So, apparently, I don't have diabetes. I don't have an overactive thyroid. I'm just fat. And that sucks. And I was just like, oh, oh well. I'm aware it makes me extremely shallow that I wish I had a medical problem to explain the little bit of weight gain I have, because whatever. But it just means I have to eat better. So instead of my um, love and attraction toward breads, I got, I, I usually have two sandwiches for lunch. I had one sandwich and I had an apple and some vitamin water. And I think I'm going to continue with that because I love the fruits. I love apples. Any apple. Like, red delicious apples are the only apples I really like to eat, and I love them. I can eat them all day, but then they give me other problems. <clears throat> so we're moving in like a month. It's exciting. Um, and that's my life from this point on. So, um, 
This has been really boring. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Bye.